All right, we're continuing on. We're going to um, mount a brush and a bracket holder for this particular chain right here. And then there's a chain right behind here, this lower chain right here. And we have a shorter bracket right here that I'm gonna lay in here and mount so it brings the brush over the chain. When I lay this out, as this brush is over the chain, I try to lay it out so there is some adjustment that you can have if the brush wears, how you can slide this down. Ideally, when a brush is mounted over the sprocket on the chain, you don't, you don't want to push it down in there like that. What you want to have is you want to have this brush so it just goes into the chain about three-eighths of an inch from the top of the chain down. And as the oil passes through this brush, it's going to hit the side plates. That's one of the most important parts of the chain that get lubricated is the side plates, along with the rollers and the internal portion of the side plates and the sprocket. So you want to position your, your, your bracket when you mount your bracket where it starts off about center and about three-eighths of an inch. And then as the brush wears, you can always slide this back down into the chain. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick. Drilling through steel without any lubricant sometimes is difficult. So if you have just a little bit of motor oil, put it in a, dip your drill bit in there, and that'll help lubricate. And that'll keep, keep your, uh, it'll allow it to drill through a lot, a lot easier, especially on thicker, thicker metal made a lot easier. So during the installation, all I'm doing is I'm putting things in and I'm just snugging them. I'm not putting anything super tight. Once we start getting the brushes and the bristles um, adjusted, then we will finish snugging them in once, once we make our final adjustments. This is just lightly snugging them in so we can continue to move them and we can get it positioned. For doing this chain here, since this is movable right here, we're gonna try to stay as close to a sprocket as possible because you have the least amount of movement. Where you would not wanna put a brush, an example would be like right here. See how this chain moves up and down? So that could come up and smash the brush or it could ride down where your brush would never touch it. So ideally, you would wanna have a brush as close as possible to the sprocket, because then you get the least amount of movement. Again, using a little oil there, will allow that to drill a little bit easier in that thicker. Again, we'll finish fine tuning that once we, once we get it uh, finished out.